when I was an underdog, as a, like when I was younger, it was, I would say, easier for me to beat better people because they don't, I don't have a big target on my back. I'll set goals for three, like three miles as fast as I can, um, lifting this much or doing these many, this many takedowns. And I don't, sometimes when I'm doing my workouts, these goals will seem so far, but I just, since I set it as a goal, I make sure that I do that. Coach Quick, he's uh, he's got an answer for everything that's uh, usually kept me driven. Um, he's taught me that. I mean, with the first state title that I won, he, he taught me, you know, that's that's not enough. You know, let's be the best. And um, he just always kept my head down and just like focused on the next thing. I decided to go to Oklahoma the day after the coaches were allowed to talk to me. So I heard from about, I'd say probably 10 or 11 coaches in about a day. But that whole time I was at a wrestling camp with Coach Spades. Um, right now we are training for a starting spot. Um, we're looking at going 133 pounds as a fre true freshman. And uh, I leave July, I think it's July 4th or 5th. I wasn't training as hard as I could have because of my knee before state qualifiers. Then I, but after I lost, I just, you know, this is the last week of my high school career. So I just went all out. My knee brace broke right before the match, so I couldn't go with it. And it was probably the best thing that happened to me, I stayed out of positions that I know that hurt it, and the knee brace breaking was probably one of the best things that's happened. Some people do win a lot, but then they, they don't have a very good image of them. They, they mean, they, they might be good wrestlers or good athletes, but then they make a bad image of themselves, and that's just one thing. I don't want to put any bad marks on my name.